Hey, 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 what's going on, guys and gals? Today, we're going to be talking about how to do a line check using the Sonnet Sound Bullet, an iPad, an X32 Mix. What you're looking at over here right now is my front of house rig. I've got the live wire power conditioner, my X32 rack, and then a Tascam CDRW Max 1 CD player slash recorder. And I use this for when I'm up here running front of the house at some of these festivals, people will bring their backing tracks and they'll have it on a CD. And that way I can just pop it in and play with it. And we're going to be using the CD today to actually do our line checks. Now in the S16 rack, I've got a Furman power conditioner. I've got a S16. And then I've got the Behringer Ultra DI Pro, which is an eight channel DI box. Let's tear into this beast. The first thing I want to say is it's built like a tank. And I'm not talking about just pieces of this. I'm talking about this is heavy. I'm going to compare it to the Shure SM57 and 58s. And that's probably the best compliment that I can give it as far as weight-wise goes and the construction of it. Because... There is no doubt in my mind that any professional recording studio worldwide has probably got at least a dozen of these Shure SM57s and 58s in their mic locker. The first thing is the case. We have a carabiner on the back that you can lock in and clip this to your belt. And then we have the flap here, which is magnetic. And then I'm going to pull the sound bullet out. Now, on the side here, we have what they call the jack-jack. I kind of got a little tickled when I first seen this. Uh, the first thing that popped into my mind was the animated TV show, The Incredibles. And that's what their youngest child's name was, Jack-Jack. Okay? This is an actual quarter-inch input built into this case. So, this actually pops in and pops out of that connection. Listen to this. You hear that? So it's not going to go anywhere. You're not going to lose this accessory that comes with this device. We use the jack jack that's going to go into this input here for checking quarter inch inputs as well as your DI boxes. Kind of bear with me here on what I'm trying to get across. I can take this device with my iPad and I can do my line checks up on stage and not have to go back and forth from my mixer to the stage area. Okay. We have a headphone jack here, which is absolutely fantastic because when you plug this in, it's going to turn off this external speaker right here. Now, since we've got it flipped to this side, this is the volume control for the speaker. We have our power button here, and we have our charging port here with the battery indicator light, as you can see right here. Now, you can use this device as it's being charged, and this light will flash accordingly to give you the indication of what your battery level is. On the front, again, we have our 48-volt phantom tester. We have a 1,000 kilohertz sine wave, as well as a pink noise generator. And here we have two lights that will indicate if our signal is peaking or clipping, as well as a green light indicator here that's going to tell us that we do, in fact, have signal coming to this device. So when we plug in the jack-jack here, it's going to turn the speaker off here. We have three dB levels. We have a negative 20, a negative 40, and a negative 10. And we're going to be using the negative 20 for our test today. If we roll it over again, now we have a cable tester. And just as it says, you, know, you hold the select button for two seconds which is this button right here. This is our select button. And then we can cycle through this using the two button, 
we can check the XLR female side of the cable as well as the male side of the cable. And depending on these lights, where they're at, and all of this comes in a very, very user-friendly user guide or quick start guide to tell you just exactly what that status is. So I'm going to set this back down here. And on this cable right here, this is my input cable for channel one. And this cable right here is for my mix bus one. Okay, coming out. So I'm being able to check these up on stage. Now, I want to mention again about this headphone jack because it's pretty important and I love this feature. You know, if you're doing your checks up there during the worship service and, you know, right before everybody gets ready to start the worship team, they're up there, everybody's in group prayer, and you can plug your headphones in here, you can hear exactly what's going on without interrupting anybody. Or if you're up on stage and things are a little chaotic and, you know, you've got a lot of noise going on, then you can plug them here and isolate that noise and allow you to do your test, you know, that you need to be doing. So we're going to turn this on. We're going to push the two button and then we're going to hit the select so we can hear the difference between the two. That is the pink noise. That is the 1000 kilohertz sine wave. Now, just like it told us, if we hold it right here down for two seconds, as you can see, it's now put us into the cable testing mode. And to cycle through that, we're going to again push the two button right here. And as you can see, it's going through the mode. We don't have a cable plugged into it yet, but I'm just showing you how it actually functions. And then the last thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to push this again and take it out of that mode. And here is our volume control. And this comes in very handy when you have your earbuds plugged in. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And now we're going to plug in our input for number one. And as you can see, immediately we can see coming in on channel one that we have our input signal. If I select the sine wave, you'll see that signal now becomes steady. If we come over to the EQ, and we turn it on. There it is. I'm going to come back over to channel one. Everything I've got zeroed out on the board here. I'm just going to raise this up so we can see a little signal. And if I bring it over here. Without cutting or boosting it. We're at the 1K.02. So it's, it's either going to be 999.8 or 1.02. We can verify the sine wave coming in here. It is calibrated. And that's it. Now, let's go back to channel one. And I'm going to turn on the phantom power. When I do, we're going to look at the two lights that says 48 volts. And there they are. This is now showing us that we do, in fact, have 48 volts coming into this cable. And when we turn this off, the lights go out. We check our quarter inch inputs the same way using the jack jack. And guys, I'm showing you this in X32 edit. I've tried this with the iPad. This is like my fifth attempt to make this video. I cannot get the video on the iPad to sync up. So I just switched over here to X32 edit. But I promise you, it works the same way. It gives me complete mobility to go up here and do all these functions from the iPad. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. I'm going to disconnect the input side. 
and I'm going to plug in the output side. Again, like I said, we now have a built-in speaker. I'm going to turn it back on. We can listen to that speaker again, just to know that it is active. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on my CD player, and let's watch what happens there. Okay, so now we have our input signal coming in from our auxiliary 1 and 2. I've got the faders up to Unity, and let's unmute this and let's listen. As you can clearly hear that we have audio now coming into this unit. Notice the green SG light, which is our signal light, and then I'm going to release the mute again, and I'm going to come over to the auxiliary inputs here, and I'm going to intentionally clip this signal. And we'll see this red peak light come on. Now, not only is the light coming on, you can also hear the distortion in this audio. And guys, that is basically it for this device. Now, I've went up here and I've compared this to several other devices for doing line checks, and they are lower than most of their competition. And it is incredible the things that you can do with this device. Again, this is made by Sonnet. It's called the Sound Bullet, and I highly, highly suggest you go check this company out, okay? I just can't say enough good things about this device. I hope this has helped. If you're looking for a device where you can do your line checks, this is the beast. All right? Take care. God bless. And we are out of here.